Hello, brave adventurers, and welcome back. On the previous episode of our Old School RuneScape mini-series, we managed to knock out all of the requirements necessary to begin Desert Treasure 2, The Fallen Empire. We made our way to the desolate and forgotten Zeroshian city of Lassar, where after an extensive investigation, we discovered that the city had been overran and destroyed by the mysterious and evil influence of Zaltok. After 19 attempts, we managed to slay the demonic shadow entity and former Zeroshian general, the Whisperer, returning her medallion to the vault. To complete our mission, we must take on three more incredibly difficult bosses in order to complete Desert Treasure 2. Without further ado, grab your wand, string your bow, and let's go on an adventure, homie. Even though it had taken me four hours to take down the Whisperer in the last episode, I know that I'm not even halfway through the quest, and now it's time to track down the Imperial Executioner for Zeros himself, the Carnifex Maximus, Vardorvis. Like something straight out of a Resident Evil movie, Vardorvis is a corrupted headless vampire that's been mutated by a strange strangled disease. We're gonna have to travel all the way across RuneScape to track this nightmare down. I hear you visited Lovakinj recently. Dude, look at my chin. Oh my god. Dude. I bet my character can bench press like 900 pounds. Look at that. Oh, that's his beard. I thought that was his chin. I'm tripping. I didn't read any of that. Just figured I would let him know. It's definitely pretty demonic. <clears throat> so this is the T-Virus. Makes sense, makes sense. Jesse might have ended up in the Stranglewood southwest of the kingdom. He also told me about a botanist from Hosidius. So I need to go to Mount Quidimortem. Wait, couldn't I just came to DJR? Why didn't you tell me that? Oh, the Stranglewood. That's how you know crazy stuff is about to start happening in this quest. Actually, I need to turn the music on and enjoy it. Bro, what? Bro, this is Resident Evil. What the hell? Oh my god, dude. This is so cool. I was doing some lore research earlier and the, um, yeah, I know who Cassand is. He's secretly uh, the serpent. I don't want to ruin it for anyone out there. For the next part of the quest, we had to protect our scraggly looking new friend from the denizens of Raccoon City. Bro, you're literally a Majorat. Dude, that sucks. Waste. Okay, let's try that again. This is so creepy, but it's cool. Why would you go over there? Die. Yes. Okay. Got one more bomb. Bro, stay away. Just stay. Yeah, I know. I'm literally trying to keep them away from you, dude. I don't want them near me either. This is this is pretty creepy. You can't defeat me. This is insane. Resident Evil RuneScape. All right, dude, a strangled lynx. They have lynx on their side now? All right, what am I supposed to do? Okay, cool. Found a cave, let's go. Dude, there's just a bunch of spiders in here. George Bush. Ah! Meow. I'm gonna die, I didn't bring any food. During this part of the quest, it's a stealth mission, so my typical method of running in and screaming Leroy Jenkins isn't going to work. I have to try and sneak by all of these zombies located all over this island, as well as not step on the little red tendrils that you see coming out from various things. This will alert the rest of the zombies and they'll start chasing me. I can, however, use Ice Barrage to help me out a little bit and freeze them, but this definitely isn't helping me too much. Oh wait, infection. Oops. Wait, why did I teleport? That was really stupid. 
Yep, have fun. Thank you, I appreciate you. Alright. Time to go kick some strangled ass. I'm the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. It's a boar. It's not a pig, dude. Oh, look at this. Look at me, dude. I'm the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Enter entry. But how do we exit entry? If I exit this, is it now an ex extra? Can I exit an entry? That's what I'm asking. Haha, <laughs> stupid. Yeah. I'm the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. Oh, Kassan. What's up, dude? Do we go to the window or do we go to the wall? Go, we got this. Time to fight Vardorvis. Oh, how naive we were to think that we would get the kill on our very first try. I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed this entire part of the quest as it creeped me out the entire time and created a sense of urgency while doing the quest. Overall, though, Vardorvis was doomed to fall beneath my blade. After a couple more deaths of my own, of course. Hey, ass butt. Give me them tunis. Where's his medallion though? I thought he was supposed to drop a medallion. Guess I gotta kill him again. I guess now it's time to go talk to our creepy friend Cassand. Man, that ain't Cassand. That's a cell phone. What do I do? Oh my god, bro. Thank god. I hate you so much. God, I would curb stomp you if you were a real human right now. Finally, after beating Resident Evil RuneScape and attaining Vardorvis' medallion, it was time to head back to the vault and complete this section of the quest. But wait, there's more! After I teleported out with Vardorvis' medallion, I had this wonderful individual chase me all the way back to the vault. Thankfully though, I am absolutely unstoppable. And like that, I had two of the four medallions needed to complete Desert Treasure 2. But little did I know, my hardest battles lie ahead. Then may your death come quick, human. Okay, thank you. I have to say that so far this quest has been absolutely amazing. The sheer amount of mechanics that they've introduced, whether it be being chased by the zombies in the Stranglewood, or even the fight with Vardorvis himself. So far, I'm truly enjoying this quest, and I hope that everybody out there is too. Feel free to let me know down in the comments section if you're enjoying this old school RuneScape Desert Treasure 2 mini series. It has been my pleasure to bring this to you today, and happy scaping, adventurers. Without further ado, Pride Slayer out. Honestly, this is one that's kind of like terrifying. But. We're going to get it done. It reminds me a lot of the game Shadow of the Colossus.